I'm talking about the Tangerine Apartments here. The original plan had 224 units mm -hmm. to be to put in there. And I realize what you did from Oracle to there. I mean, I, I understand that part. But still, when you did do that, it was 144 different that you added on extra on to, to, for the whole total. All right, now that 240 has turned to 500. And so um, actually that's 276 more apartments. And that is, I figured that up, is 45%, almost half of what it, what it was. Um, just a couple quick things, you are correct. The apartment count did go up. What's also happened since March of 2020, construction costs, other things have escalated pretty significantly. So I mentioned before that a lot of this bringing, that there are, there are components of this project that I know everybody loves, right? The, the entertainment center, the park, those things are not the things that are going to create a return on investment. What we know when we've studied the repositioning of these types of retail centers, that having the right amount of people living on the site is critically important. And that increase in number had a lot to do with crunching those numbers. Um, so one of the things that's, that's happened in some of the other projects over the 25 years that I've been doing this in the Tucson region is we have these conversations and what starts to happen is a pullback from what's being proposed, and then the project's not financially feasible. What we know is that to make this project work and to have it come out the way that we want it to come out and to be able to provide some of that really cool stuff um, that everybody is agreeing is needed, um, we really need this combination um, to make it work.